Good evening, everybody. I'm Kimberly Edwards with cookingwithkimberly.com. And tonight, I, I just got home late from coaching, and I need to make dinner. So what I took out earlier today was a pork loin, part of a pork loin roast, okay? This has the center and the rib cut with it. So what I'm going to do is, this is actually probably half or a third of the giant roast that it came with, okay? So I, I separated them, and I, I stored them this way. My hands are completely dirty. Don't touch everything with porky hens, got me? Okay. So what I'm going to do now with this to prepare it is I want to roast it. So I'm going to put it in the oven. And it needs to have its fat on the back side. I'm going to show you the fat. Sharp knife, by the way. Okay. I'm going to show you this. Don't drip everywhere. Here. See how that top side is fat? That's all white fat. This is the bottom meat side, right? So the top side has a layer of fat. And what we want to do is we want to impart flavor into that fat. Fat carries flavor, guys. So use that for your seasonings as well. Hold on, I'm gonna wash my hands right quick. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this really sharp knife and I'm going to score, which means I'm going to slice some slits in, not all the way through to the meat, but through some of that fat, okay? That's going to allow me to get some flavors in there. So this is a super sharp knife, I'm doing it maybe an inch away from each other, and I'm just slicing. Hopefully you have a very sharp knife that you can do this easily as well. It's so much easier with a sharp knife, guys. Don't mess around with dull knives. You can also get hurt with dull knives. Okay, so I'm finishing. I'm just putting it on a diagonal. There's no real rhyme or reason to it, okay? So that's what this looks like now. It has all slits through it, like that. See it? Okay. So, these slits, I want to get some flavors into, okay? Let me just make sure these are really nice and cut. Okay, this fat is also going to melt. So, it's not going to stay here. Don't be worried, okay? Salt and pepper. Real simple. Salt and pepper. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm going to put some olive oil here. I want this to add the salt and pepper to actually go inside those little slits, okay? I poured maybe a tablespoon and a half on top of it. Use my basting brush and I'm just going to smooth that over top of it, okay? Get the sides. Get the underside if you like. Olive oil never hurt anybody. <laughs> okay. Now, I have another seasoning I'm using tonight. I wanted to use rosemary and then I changed my mind. Okay, because I saw this bottle of seasoning in my cupboard that I totally forgot I had. And I'm so excited I have it, you have no idea. So now that I saw it, it's the perfect day to use it. This is from a place called Baker's Ribs in Dallas, Texas. Okay, Baker's Ribs, it's a franchise chain. I don't know how far it stretches around the United States. But they have, seriously, some of the best barbecue I've ever eaten and I mean I lived in Texas okay I lived down south and I really love Baker's ribs their pulled pork sandwiches are ridiculous so now that I'm doing pork tonight and I saw that I bought this and brought it home and I forgot I had it I'm so using this I'm tearing it up now this seasoning is is a mix okay it says excellent for use on ribs poultry fish and other meats now what it says it has in it is sugar salt spices which they don't want to tell us, right? That's exactly what we need to know. Uh, granulated garlic and paprika. So you can marinate your meat with this. You can you can have it on here for probably 30 minutes before you, you know, throw it in the oven, which I probably should have done, but time purposes, everyone just gets home from work. I don't have 30 more minutes to let it sit around for no reason. So I'm going to just generously douse this sucker with this seasoning. This seasoning is delicious. The sugar in it actually is really, I think, what, what sets it apart. Okay, I'm getting this all over. Make sure it gets in those nice little slits. So if you want to even use that little brush and make sure you can push some of that in those slits, go on and do that, okay? And I'm also gonna season the underside of the meat with this bad stuff. Awesome stuff, it's gonna be the best. So excited. It's perfect for pork, okay? More. Me. Okay, 
Now this is generous and I'm happy. This is gonna be so nice. Oh, okay, I have pre- I'm so excited about this. My apologies, I'm enjoying myself. Okay. <coughs> hey, excuse me. Quiet, please. Okay, so I've preheated my oven to about 375 degrees. Now I have it on convection bake, okay? You can go anywhere from 350, even three, maybe four, 330 to like 375, okay? This is gonna take a couple hours. Stick one of those thermometers in, which I'll show you right now. Sit tight. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. This is a thermometer that goes into your meat. Got me? Stick it in. Stick it halfway in. You want to actually get a really good reading. And for pork to be done, it needs to be at 170 degrees. Cool? So roast that till it's 170 degrees in the center. And you'll be ready to go. Good to go. Good to go. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in. I'm actually going to kind of stick it in diagonally so I get a, a nice reading. And I am going to use a stainless steel big heavy deep frying pan. Um, this has a handle that's also stainless steel. That means I can put it in the oven with no issue. Now I'm actually going to put some olive oil in the bottom of this too. Just so that it doesn't stick on the bottom. That wouldn't be very nice, would it? No, not at all. So this is kind of like one of those um, dinners again where you just set it and forget it. And please, guys, like, it's just a saying. Don't get all uptight. Jeez, that I stole it from someone. Holy cow, don't say it because someone else said it. My lord, there's nothing new under the sun. And my mom's been saying it since I was little. So there. Got me? I can say what I want on my show. Okay. It's a long story, guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about. So anyways, this is going into this right here. It's a set it and forget it meal. You just prepped it. I don't know. I probably talked way too long. So we're looking at seven minutes. So you're done in five minutes prep. Was that hard? Absolutely not. This is going to be so tasty. So you're going to throw this in the oven, okay? Keep checking it. If you want to baste it, baste it. If you don't, I don't care. Do whatever the heck you want. This is your food, right? So if you want to, you can put a little bit of liquid in the bottom. Near the end, you could put some brown sugar on top or some maple syrup, if you felt like it. Just for a little je ne sais quoi, some extra flavor. Um, that's it. Don't touch stuff with your nasty porky hands, okay? And, and that's really it. So what I'm going to do is hopefully I'll try and come back and show you when this bad boy comes out. If not, I will definitely have a picture on the blog post for this, um, for this recipe, okay, everybody? So... I'm Kimberly Edwards, Cooking with Kimberly. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Check out the Facebook fan pages, facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. All of my shows are on YouTube, youtube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And the site is cookingwithkimberly.com. I have awesome searches. Make sure you go over there and get your holiday recipes. And c'est tout. Eat deliciously. This is how to ro roast a pork loin. It's going to be awesome. Ciao. Eat deliciously. Bye.